I'm gonna ask sports fans something. Um, this is a very honest question. Do you believe that you will win the league, Premier League title, realistically? Um, that's what I ask. Please, could you put the comments below? Um, Tottenham keep on surprising me. I'll be very brutally honest with you. I thought that they would drop points. Either a loss or a drop. Perhaps a draw, more likely. I didn't think they would win. Crystal Palace have been playing well. This is the same pass that have beaten Arsenal. That have beaten Chelsea. That have beaten Liverpool. And I expect them to take the scalp off of Tottenham. So for Tottenham to go there, knowing the kind of teams that they've beaten, away from home, against a tricky um, outfit like a Crystal Palace, and to come away with a victory... For me, this team keeps on moving to a whole new level. Because every single time I keep thinking that, okay, this is where Tottenham will flop. Okay, this is where they, they'll, they'll start sliding down. And, and they don't. They refuse to. And what admired me about this game, I didn't obviously hear the, 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 the full game, but I saw large chunks of it. Um, key, key, key chunks because I was flipping through the Bayern Dortmund game and also the Real Madrid game. Um, there's a maturity because Crystal Palace defended very well. I mean, this, this, that Crystal Palace side, these guys are ex excellently coached, and the way that Allardyce has them set up was so superb. There were no, there, were, there was no, no, no space, no runs could could happen because of just how well Allardyce positioned his men to not allow. Dele Ali or Harry Kane to have the kind of space that, that, that they're usually accustomed to, which is how they really punish people. But within that, totally, they didn't panic. They didn't try to force the issue. They didn't try to make bad decisions. They, there was a calmness. There's a maturity. They kept themselves in, in the game. Again, one of the most underrated players this season, this season Aldo, Aldo, Aldo Viral, you know, Toby, you know, the guy's doing his thing. Because everybody in this team, there is a togetherness, but there's a professionalism about it. And again, it's like, I just, I didn't think that they would go to a high level from last season. So you have to give Pochettino cred. You've got to give Pochettino some street cred. Um, so, it's still, it's four points. And I know people say, wait a minute, four points with five games to go, that's nothing. That's nothing. And it's, it's, and, 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 it's, and it's true. It's you know with five games to go, four points. It's not. Remember, I think um, how like with three games to 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 go, five points. Liverpool were happy. I had five points that they they flopped. So um, it's it's um, like I I just for me it's not about thinking. I just know for a fact that they they won't win it, and uh, but. What Tottenham have to focus on is just how much better they have been this season. So they should even... That's what for Tottenham fans, forget about the Premier League title. It's in, in, in and about that. It's not so about that. It's about remain at White Hart Lane because that is a fortress for you. Don't make the same mistake that Arsenal made. And you have a really good call. And you have to... And Daniel Levy, mate, you have to keep Pochettino because Pochettino is working on something. There's something special here. There is something special here. Tottenham are one or two players away from being a force. Not only domestically, but in Europe. As in, two players away, two experienced, key critical players away from saying, no, Tottenham are now a proper outfit. Because Ericsson was a guy who I said, this guy, a, he's a playmaker. He, he can truly be something on a high technical level, but he, he, he's missing something about him. But he is finally doing that. He's finally living up to his potential. You know, he's finally actually delivering what people thought he could. Remember, the guy from Ajax, who you saw, this is a high technical player. First few seasons, he just wasn't popping off. One or two good games, but then he would just tail off for the end. But now he's really delivering on a consistent level. Because Pochettino has just extracting the very best out of these quality players. As you look at what Dele Alli is doing, this guy has, he has imp the improvements. is just what is getting me. Because the they were good last season. But I thought, I thought last season was Tottenham's ceiling. I thought that was just ceiling. So for them to really take things to a higher level this season just says to me that, you know, put it in on that, that guy's working some wonders there. I think, you know, there's some witchcraft happening. Um, so the thing for Tottenham is, like, look, man, I hold my hands up, man. I mean, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm impressed. I didn't think they would still last the, the, the pace. And they just have to finish strong. They have to finish strong. Their main aim is 
consolidate second place. Consolidate second place. Forget about the Premier League title. That's done. Chelsea have already wrapped that up. But if they can finish second and keep them finish above Arsenal, superb season. Absolutely superb season. And it's about building up. Because again, for Daniel Levy, put your hands into your damn pockets, mate. Don't, don't be tight with that, with, that, with that kick. Don't be tight with that kick. Let the cheddar flow. Let the, get your cheese grits and let the cheddar flow. Give Pochettino some kick. Give him some kicks so he can spend on players because he deserves it. Okay, what else does the man have to, have to do to, to get some cash? Look at how well he's done with his players without spending the kind of money that Man City or United have spent. Come on, man. Come on, let's be real now. Come on. So, for 100%, it is a big summer. And I just think for Tottenham, man, like, like I am so impressed. Forget about their play, their attacking, their flair. It's their psychology, their, ma their maturity, their professionalism, their patience and the ability to concentrate on winning games and finding ways of winning games because this was a tough one 1-0 one this was a tough one this wasn't a 3-0-4-0 blah 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 this is no this was a tough hard grind that they really dug out and and won so look man that's real that's real so Tottenham 1000% this team is no joke this team is no damn joke so look man props to you Tottenham boys man finish strong and build upon for next season, man. Very exciting team who have proven, just like Leicester last year, that you don't have to spend 80 mil on a player in order to ride. Just hire a great coach with great scouts.